Hi gamers. Magic the Gathering turned 20 years old this year and to commemorate it Wizards of the Coast released this special box set uh, part of the From the Vault series. Here is From the Vault 20 and uh, of course I am just a sucker for these uh, special editions. I have all, uh, all the other editions in this yearly series. First they came up with Dragons and then came Exiled, then Relics, a year after that Legends, last year it was Realms, and uh, now possibly the uh, best set to date, um, 20. Of course it has 20 cards in instead of the 15 that were in the other boxes and I uh, just love the quality that they put into these hardcover cases here and everything uh, very nicely presented here. And I, I managed to get this for 100 euros which if you know how much these go for it's uh, pretty reasonable. Of course it's still like three times the MSRP but hey the game shops need to make a living as well but like I said our 100 euros was a really a great price for this so very happy to get it and uh, I thought I'd do a little unboxing of these cards for you so we have 20 cards here and this uh, paper insert uh, telling about all the cards uh, how they picked this uh, was that they, they picked one card from each year of Magic uh, that was uh, a card that was uh, in a prominent role in a tournament where the deck used to good extent uh, in tournaments. So every card has a bit of history here. Also get this special die here with the 20 emblem here just fitting for a d20 die and uh, let's just open uh, the first of these three right up oh yeah shiny first up we have him to Turach one of my favorite um, discard spells of all time and uh, it is quite powerful. Finthorn Elves. This was the first time I uh, they functionally reprinted um, Lanoir Elves so uh, it was a second second option if you needed more mana elves in your deck. Impulse, great uh, a uh, great card uh, to get you what you needed. Of course, many cards have since surpassed this, but that's uh, that's true. Like on on many of these cards in this set, not all are powerhouses, but uh, just uh, historically um, important. Wall of Blossoms, Thran Dynamo, and Tangle Wire. Tangle Wire is probably. Uh, uh, one of the, one of the you know more more po most powerful cards in this this set. The other being you know, Jace the Mind Sculptor of course, but Tangle Wire is is a real powerhouse. And Factor Fiction, uh, one of my favorite cards cards actually of all time. I just like like the fact that uh, it uh, it needs skill uh, from the opponent to resolve correctly. Uh, I love when the card gives you a choice. And then to the middle pack here, of course, here is where the money is at. They reprinted Jace the Mind Sculptor. Now, when they uh, announced that they will be including Jace in this set, um, and and they said like, yeah, it's true. Uh, we did it. Uh, everybody be happy, but that's that's not really the point. 
um, when they included this in this set, it just means that the collectors have have to pay more for their sets, and the rest of the people just don't get this because these are quite uh, quite rare sets. They didn't print a lot of these, so this just ramps up the price for those who have bought this. Uh, before as well, so not really uh, reaching out to new audiences here. Uh, Green Sun's Zenith, Kessick Wolf Run, the newest card in this set, Dark Ritual. I'm kind of bummed that they used this uh, art for Dark Ritual. Uh, they should have used. Uh, I, you know, I'm I'm pretty biased to old cards. So I started playing during revised, so they should have used the revised, uh, well, alpha, uh, beta, unlimited revised art of Dark Ritual. I don't think they ever printed that uh, art in in foil yet. So uh, I would prefer that, but of course, uh, really an, uh, a no-brainer to include it in this set. As is Swords to Plowshares. Of course, this is uh, has been printed many times in their other products, so not uh, they they could have picked uh, another card as well. But and Chainers Edict, a great removal spell, and uh, of course the flash flashback is uh, quite uh, huge, but it's uh, it's all all plus at that uh, point of the game. And then to the last pack here. We have Acromas Vengeance, Gilded Lotus, great new art here, Ink Ice, Servant of Oni, Char. I know many people uh, uh, think that Char is like the, the worst um, uh, damage spell there is, uh, but it really isn't. Uh, of course, it's uh, you know many uh, uh, new uh, newcomers think that if a spell uh, you know damages you, it's not worth anything. But uh, red decks just don't care about damaging you, and uh, a three mana. This is actually the cheapest way to deal 4 damage to either a creature or player at instant speed. Uh, and uh, so uh, as, as such it's uh, it, it really really is uh, uh, a really powerful spell. Of course uh, uh, even more powerful was, uh, was the, the original uh, Psionic Blast but that was a blue card so it, uh, it's kind of weird that it took so long for red to get this card. But I, I do like it. It's, it's a quintessential red card. Uh, Venser, Shaper Savant, an excellent, excellent creature. Chameleon Colossus. And finally, Cruel Ultimatum. We have great new art here as well. And that was it. The 20 cards included in uh, from the vault 20. I'm gonna be having some fun putting these into my cube and uh, other decks as well. And uh, yeah, I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.